You're 400 meters faster than Katrina and Mars. Surprise, surprise. Uh, you get so I, I was going to say, did you see the news yesterday? The 22nd. I saw that no earlier than 22nd. Yeah. So hopefully, I mean, that's yeah. not too bad. I'm a little more cautious when it comes to these because I think they're going to realize they're going to see a, after a week or two that things aren't going as well as they thought. Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and do give me some 10 leg swings. 10 leg swings going front and back and then 10 leg swings going side to side. He yeah, was also reading about the, the Durham. Durham's mayor isn't as detailed yet, but his thoughts are. But I saw Governor Cooper put out some details. I'd be surprised if the governor was saying something and a mayor tried to be more strict. I think they'd, they'd run into some trouble there. Well, he has a shutdown longer. So the mayor's extended it, the full shutdown to the 15th. But hopefully he just says kind of whatever the plan the state's going through, we can all do it together. Right. I think if he doesn't, if he tries to be more strict, that's going to hurt come re-election time. All right, now give me 10 Hawaiian squats. That's going to be five each leg. All right, so next up, we're gonna do this hinge toe pull. So I'm gonna send, put my right foot just in front of my left foot. So you see the bottom half of me here. I'm gonna hinge my foot back and I'm gonna grab that toe and pull it. Then I'll switch to the other side. Left foot going just in front of the right foot, hinge back, grab the toe and pull. I want you doing five each side. All right, then you give me 10 hurdles or leg circles on each side going forward to back. So remember that's that big opener. We're going open this way, there you go. So 10 this way. 10 coming back the other way, and then the same thing on the other side. 10 one way, 10 the other way. Ever tried to come out and work out with me yesterday while I was doing that workout? Just like kind of Caleb was going around. You said you're a lot of management going on. <laughs> yeah. Thought I was gonna whip him with a jump rope. Thought I was gonna drop weights on him. Get pushing a stroller all around me. <laughs> all right. The next up we're gonna do uh, pin quad stretches. So that's pulling your foot up to your butt. And we're just going to be holding for a five second pause, right? So kind of doing that's pulling that knee down, 
Pulse for five seconds, relax. Do it again. How many of them? 10 times. 10 times each leg. You got a watch mark? Yeah. I pulled it out of my bag. It's been right. sitting in my bag since we did similar interval work four or five years ago. <laughs> Good, just in time. Well, I used to wear a watch every day until the advent of the phone. Yeah. Yeah. All right, then when you finish those 10, Quad stretches, quad pulses, give me 10 calf stretches each leg. So you can either be doing that up against the wall with your toe going up in the air. Same idea. We're going to pull for five seconds, then relax. Pull for five seconds, relax. You can also go into a down dog and pedal through each leg. If you don't have a good wall to do it at. All right, then when you finish that, we can get into 10 of these alternating. It's that high knee pull, step out in that lunge, and then do your twist. So do five with each leg. You can start that big high knee pull up, step that leg out to your lunge, and then twist toward that planted leg. How many? Really 10. 10? 10, yep. Just imagine trying to do that in front of a camera, Dave, and with the bum knee. <laughs> I've got like one good rep I can demo, and then I've got to change to something else. Apparently, balance is not my forte. All right, so we're gonna finish those 10. We're gonna do this accessory leg work as kind of more of a warm up to get you ready for your running. 
And then we're going to get into practicing that pace. And then we'll talk about the, the running work and I'll turn you guys loose. So for this uh, EMOM, it's a nine minute EMOM. It's not too much work. You're going to start off in the first minute doing 20 air squats. Second minute is a 45 second plank. And the third minute is 20 alternating lunges. So you'll just go through that three times. Okay. I think you guys are going to be ready to kind of jump into this. We're not doing any weight. Try and find that range of motion for both those air squats and those lunges, not necessarily just blast through them. All right. We'll get a clock going here. All right, 10 seconds. Start with 20 air squats. And work. Nice job, y'all. You got about 20 seconds left before that plank. You can do the plank from your elbows or from your hands, doesn't matter. All right, 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and plank. <laughs> Good. That's twenty seconds in. Fifteen seconds left. I got five more. Three, two, one, and rest. Next up, we're doing lunges. So let's for this first one, let's do 20 alternating step forward lunges. Watch where that knee's going. Try not to send that knee too far over your toe. Try to keep it over your heel, all right? And work. 20, 20 lunges. Not in the big rush here, trying to keep that chest up in the air. Nice job. We got about 10 seconds left. We're going back to those air squats. 20 air squats again. Three, two, one, and let's go. 20 good air squats. Squeezing your butt, get up to the top, going down below parallel, trying to keep that chest up in the air, knees going over the toes. <laughs> All right, you got about 20 seconds rest before we go into a plank. All right, five seconds. Three, two, one, and plank. 
Move your butt down, sit down, flat. There you go. We're gonna try and keep that core engaged, pulling those shoulder blades apart, not driving those hips up in the air, trying to find a straight line. You got about 20 seconds left. All right, last five seconds. Two, one, and rest. So on these 20 alternate lunges, let's do step back lunges this time. Three, two, one, and work. 20 step back lunges. Step back. Same idea, see if you can keep your chest up when you're stepping backwards, not letting that ch the chest pitch forward or fall forward. Nice, right, good work. <laughs> All right, got one more round. You got about 10 seconds. We're going back to those air squats. Three, two, one, and work. 20 air squats. You can think about trying to keep those heels on the ground, grabbing the ground with that big toe. See how fast you can go up and down now as we stay active at the bottom and at the top. You can send it up in the air if you want to keep that chest up. Stay on your hips, not on your chest. It's okay. Mark it. You got it. Okay, yeah. Take it down. I'm trying to do it as fast as you All right, getting ready for that last plank here. You got about 15 seconds. All right, five seconds. Three, two, one, and plank. Actively pressing the ground. Your core should be engaged. You can be squeezing those glutes. Uh, that's 20 seconds down. Yeah, 15 seconds left. Last five seconds. Two, one, and rest. All right, on these last lunges, you can go forward or reverse, whichever one, doesn't matter. And three, two, one, let's go. 20 lunges. Nice job, y'all, keeping that chest up. All right, good work. So, for the running work today, we're gonna do a little practice, but let me talk to you about what this is supposed to feel like. We'll do the practice, then I'll answer any more questions, and then I'll send you guys off. So, we're gonna be doing six rounds. The goal here is to work on changing speeds. 
So you're going to do three minutes of an easy, this will be one round, three minutes of an easy run. So that could even look like a jog. It could look like a walk. The idea here is this is your slowest one. It's trying to get your heart rate back under control. You're going to then move straight into two and a half minutes of a moderate run. So this is something that you might consider like maybe a little bit slower than that mile PR pace, but something you could say one to two words, something that you are moving faster, and this would not be resembling a walk, right? So you move to that faster pace for two and a half minutes, then you're gonna go all out for 30 seconds, a hard run, 30 seconds, you'll transition directly into three minutes of a jog, okay? What I'm concerned about is let's, make sure all three of these feel very different. So that middle one, you can't quite talk, maybe one or two words. The last one, you certainly cannot talk on that sprint on the fast run. The easy jog, that one you could have a conversation pace, all right? So I'm not necessarily as worried about the distance that you're traveling during these. I'm more worried about each round. You can feel the difference between all three of those. If you want, you can try an added bonus or try and keep those distances pretty similar between the, three, between the six rounds but that's not really what the focus is. We're really working on those three different speeds today, okay? Questions about that? All right, so I want you to give me two rounds and I want you to arrive back at the computer. You are gonna be doing 45 seconds of that easy pace, then you'll do 30 seconds of that moderate pace in a 10 second sprint and go straight into that 45 seconds easy pace because that's the one that's gonna be the big difference. And I want you to practice going hard straight into an easy, okay? 45 seconds easy, 30 seconds moderate, 10 seconds hard. 45 seconds easy, 30 seconds moderate, 10 seconds hard, you come back over to the computer, all right? Okay. Okay. All right, see you guys in just a few minutes. <laughs>
we go. We rhymed at the same time. I can keep up with Dave when it's a time. <laughs> I'm, I'm impressed. I ended up running 10 seconds in the wrong direction and have to run another Yeah, there you go. When, it, when it's a fixed time domain, I can keep up with Dave. All right, so you guys got an idea how that feels, right? That switch, the big switch will be between that hard run and that easy run. Probably the more difficult one is making sure that transition between the moderate to the fast happens every time. Because you'll be running for two and a half minutes and you have to turn on another gear to switch that 30 seconds of fast, all right? Yeah. You got six minutes for each set. It's 36 minutes of running. Like I said, don't be afraid to take that easy down so you can make sure you hit that moderate and hit it hit the hard pretty well, okay? Questions about it? No. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm ready, Mark. Right, thanks, Bree. My Timex Iron Man watch still works. There you go, <laughs> last forever. Awesome. All right, see you guys. Bye. Thanks, Bree.